Free to play is by far the hardest place to make money in RuneScape, but today I'm going to show you an easy method to start building your bank by utilizing overnight flipping. If you've never done overnight flipping before, don't worry, we're going to cover the very basics in this video. Don't forget to drop a like if you enjoy this guide, and if you need more guides on how to flip in free to play, I have a ton of additional free to play guides on my channel. In order to make money on the Grand Exchange, we'll need to buy items for a lower price than what we sell them at, and profit over the amount of tax that we'll end up paying as well. Because the Grand Exchange is a live marketplace, prices are going to fluctuate based on an item supply and demand. What makes overnight flipping so powerful is that over an 8-16 to 16 hour period, an item's price will generally fluctuate a larger amount than it would in only an hour time frame. This lets us buy in items at a greatly reduced price, in which we can sell back on the Grand Exchange during normal playtime hours for its slightly above average price and net the difference between the buy and the sell. Let me show you an example of these price fluctuations. So I pulled up the Raw Lobster as a nice free to play item with a lot of trade volume and as you can see throughout the day, the Raw Lobster fluctuates between 133 GP all the way up to 140 GP. So overnight, if we listed an offer to buy lobster at 133 GP, and let's say we bought about 30,000 of them, we could potentially sell them during the day for 140 GP, which after tax would be 139 GP each. That means we're getting a 6 GP margin on every single lobster that we buy, and that one flip alone would make us 180K in one overnight flip. Taking advantage of these price swings will make you a lot of bank, and my favorite part about it is the barrier to entry is extremely low. The only real requirement that you need to have on your account to do this is having no trade restrictions on your account. This requires that you have a total level of 100 between all of your stats, you have 10 quest points, and you've reached 20 hours of in-game time on your account. Now, the only way to get around this is if you've ever had membership on your account, as that will automatically remove trade restrictions permanently regardless of your stats. The second requirement, which is more of a recommendation I guess, is to have at least 500k. Having some gold on hand is actually going to allow you to make more GP overnight, as you'll be able to buy more items in the overnight cycle, which you can sell back during the day. So the more money you put into it, the more money you're going to make out of it. So if you can go into this with 500k, you'll be in a pretty good spot, but if you have less than 500k, I still encourage you to follow this guide, you just won't be seeing a similar amount of profit. Finally, the last recommendation that I would give is to have more than one account. Since free to play accounts are locked to 3 grand exchange slots only, it is really helpful to have another account flip with, that way you can increase your slots you have available on the grand exchange. Anyway, let's hop over to the Grand Exchange and walk through a live example. Alright, we are at the Grand Exchange with 1 mil in our inventory. Now I'm going to walk through the entire process of how I set my overnight flips. First step we have to take is identifying the right items to flip overnight. My personal favorite way to do this is look at a flipping list that I have created, so I have a bunch of private lists that I keep on hand to reference anytime I'm looking for flips. But if you don't have a flipping list yet, you can always check out my Discord, there is a link in the description below. We have a free flipping list on there which you can use to find some easy flips. If you don't want to join the Discord for the list, that is fine. When you come to flip these items, just try to think of free to play items that are traded a lot and don't have tax. The example that I'm thinking of right now in my head is nature runes. Nature runes currently right now are under 100 GP each, so I think I'm going to try to flip a few of these overnight. I've gone ahead and pulled up the price graph for the nature runes. Now, I'm currently on the RuneScape price wiki, which I'll put a link in the description below to. But as you can see, over the past day, the nature runes have fluctuated between 85 GP and 90 GP. So I think overnight, we actually may be able to buy a few for 85 GP each. At the very least, we'll be able to get some for 86. I'm going to list my items around 85 GP each and see if we have any luck buying those with the goal of selling them for around 89 to 90 GP each. 
That's going to net us a 4-5 to five GP profit for every single nature rune that we flip. And since the item is under 100 GP, we will not have to pay any taxes on it. So let's go ahead and list our nature runes for 85 GP each. And when you are flipping with your cash stack, the goal is to spread your cash stack out across as many items as you can as evenly as possible. That way, if you flip more items, you can reduce your risk if something goes bad on one flip, as if one flip goes poorly, you'll likely make up for it on the other two flips. We've gone ahead and dropped an offer in for 4,000 nature runes at 85 GP each. At this point, all we have to do is wait and set our other two flips. Here are the three items we're going to flip overnight. As we walk through together, the nature runes are the first one, but the pie shell and the raw tuna are the two that are following up the nature runes. Now, the pie shells are an item that don't have as much volume as the nature runes or raw tuna, not nearly as much, but I think we're going to be able to get upwards of a 15 to 20 GP margin on them overnight, which is why I'd like to try them out for the video. Also, the raw tuna is another one of those high volume items that is very similarly priced to the nature runes, so I'm thinking we should also be able to get a 5 to 6 GP margin on the raw tuna, and again, since it is under 100 GP each as well, we will not be paying tax on those. All you have to do now is log out and wait until the next day to see if your offers have filled out. And it is the next morning and all of our flips have completely bought out. So what I'm going to do now is check the prices on the RuneScape price wiki and list our items back onto the Grand Exchange for their high sell price. It has been a little bit over an hour and all of our flips have sold. That is a total of 63k in profit, so we'll collect that right to the cash stack. Now, 63k profit might not seem like a lot with a million GP on hand, but keep in mind we are in free to play, we only have access to 3 flipping slots on this one account, and that is actually a 6.4% return on our cash stack just by making 63k. All we had to do is look at graphs on the price website and list some items to flip overnight, which really requires very, very little effort. So 63k is actually a pretty good gain. That being said, my goal for the next night is to actually get a 100k profit in a night. So let's list some more flips and see how they work out for us over the next 12 hours. We have all of our flips listed and actually the sapphires have already started buying. But don't worry, we're buying them at a low point, so I am confident the flip is going to work out. Now, these are all pretty high volume items. I think if we focus on a little bit lower volume, some of the gilded items potentially, or even some stuff that's just not traded as much on free to play, some more armor stuff, then I think we could actually make a little bit more money. But considering this is a beginner guide, I do want to focus primarily on high volume flips, which all of these items qualify for. Just like last time, let's leave these for about 12 hours and we'll check on it in the morning. And just like that, all of our items have bought. It is the next day. And just like last time, guys, we're going to turn around and sell all these items back on the exchange. Margins are looking pretty decent for us right now, so there should be some good profit. And we are selling everything back right now. We're going to leave this for about two hours, and I do expect things are going to sell. Right now, we're looking at an estimated 100k in profit, which I'd be very happy with. And it is the next day and everything has sold for a 103.6k profit. Very happy with that. We're at 1.16 mil right now. Very good gains for free to play only. Making 100k basically off a million GP is pretty much a 10% return on your entire cash stack. So you cannot complain about that in free to play considering how low effort this is. Anyway, for day 3, we're going to set another round of flips. This time, hopefully we'll get the most profit, but I'm trying to showcase as many items as I can in free-to-play. That way, you guys have a lot of ideas of what you can flip in free-to-play to start flipping and make money. And using the same exact strategy as before, we've deployed our entire cash stack, besides 100 GP of course, into the Grand Exchange to flip. Let's leave this for about 12 hours, we'll come back and check it, sell our flips back, and hopefully make a really good profit. 
It is the next morning and all of our flips have bought. Very lucky on that. So let's turn around and sell everything on the exchange. Similar to how I buy these items, what I do is I just collect the item and I list it back on the grand exchange near its daily high. Usually a little bit lower than the daily high just to make sure I can actually sell it off. So in this case, we're going to list them for 53 GP each. And all of our flips have sold, although we were not able to sell the oak logs for a profit. Unfortunately, they did go down in price. But this does bring up a good example. If you buy into an item and you're not able to sell it off in like 12 to 18 hours, then you might just want to sell it for break even or even take a slight loss if you must. Now, the reason you want to do this is you don't want to have your GP locked up in an item for too long because if the item keeps going down in price, you're going to lose more money. It's much easier just to collect your money back, take a small loss, and flip another item to make up for it. Because of the oak logs, we did not make a very good profit last night. 33k on our last night, which is a little bit unfortunate, but not every night of flipping is going to make you bank. We ended up making about 200k in 3 nights of overnight flipping, which is a 20% return on our cash stack, which is actually pretty good considering we are in free to play and there's not a ton of options we could pick to make more money. Now, I'm not by any means saying this was a stellar performance, this was actually on the lower end, but we did not run into too many issues until the oak logs at the end, which we did sell for break even, so it wasn't a huge deal. Anyway, thanks for watching guys, hopefully you learned something from this video. Flipping in free to play is not going to be this quick and easy thing, but it is a nice way to start building your bank and honestly is by far the best money maker in free to play, considering it requires such little effort. If you guys enjoyed the video, be sure to drop a like and I'll see you in the next one.